experimental quantum teleportation is an important paper that involves light and the hypothetical teleport of polarization. At first approximation, it follows this process. We have photon 2 and 3 entangled, meaning they have uh, correlated polarization. If one is minus 45, the other is uh, plus 45 or vice versa. Photon 1 is polarized to and is made interact with the photon 2. As we see from the ore, we can have more combinations. Experimental states, this is the specific case. Thanks to entanglement, this interaction should teleport the polarization of photon 1 into photon 3. In the experiment, photon 1 is forced at uh, plus 45 polarization, and photon 2 is entangled with photon 3. So the teleport case is when photon 1 interacting with uh, photon 2 at minus 45, Teleport is plus 45 polarization to photon 3, which, uh, however, already have plus 45 polarization, even without teleport. Nevertheless, this is the experimental quantum teleportation. We also saw from interferometry that waves cannot interact, while quantum teleportation originates from light pulses affecting each other. If some masochist is interested in going deeper, this is the experimental apparatus. For each UV pulse, uh, two pairs of photons are produced, and this order refers to the droning. Experimental quantum teleportation involves uh, polarized wave interfering and interacting, and simultaneous detection in multiple receivers. Photons are emitted in pair from the source. First couple is uh, photon 2 and 3, then photon 1 with uh, 4. Each pair of photons has a correlated polarization. If one is plus 45, the other is minus 45, or vice versa. But uh, at each execution, we don't know what combination we have. Photons 1 and 2 meet at the beam splitter before hitting the detectors F1 and F2 while uh, on uh, photon 3 path we have a polarizing beam splitter. If photon 3 is polarized uh, plus 45, detector D2 will click, otherwise D1 will click. This analysis is fundamental because it's the only way we have to identify the correlated polarization of photon 2 and more in general the meaning of uh, each experimental outcome. Photon 4 is just used to check uh, photon 1 is emitted. Target of the experiment is to record and uh, count multiple detection at the same time. More into specific, the threefold coincidences with uh, D1, F1, F2 and D2, F1, F2. Experimenter states uh, it is possible to emit single photon. And following quantum mechanics, each of these photons is a one-way function with uh, one outcome. Indeed, according to the paper, photons 1 and 2 going through this B splitter choose only one path and give only one detection in F1 or F2. So coincidence between F1 and uh, F2 should only come from uh, photons 1 and 2 taking different paths. Since we are counting coincidences, uh, this assumption is uh, crucial, but in contradiction with interferometry, where a single light pulse can give uh, multiple detections. Even experimental outcomes in the paper are proving from the assumption. 68% of the time we have two detections with uh, one source. We are talking about uh, coincidence among receivers not so reliable. So it is plausible that 100% of emissions are not single photons, and 68% is the overall reliability of the experimental apparatus. Unitarity in light as a quantum wave function is questioned by interferometry, and single emissions are mostly disproved. Many times F1 and F2 can be coincidence with just one source and experimenter twisted this uh, computation into something to discard. So at least 68% of results are now spurious. Since these two pairs are interacting in the experiment, these are the four combinations to start with. 
using determinism with hidden variables. These are not all the possible results, but the sample the outcomes from the experiment were just the one or the two clicks in tripole coincidence with F1 and F2. Photon 4 entangled with the photon 1 is just used to check photon 1 is emitted, and its polarization is meaningless here. Along the path of photon 1, we have a plus 45 polarizer. After this point, only light waves with the B polarization can go through. So half of the time detector 4 clicks, photon 1 is stopped by the polarizer and can't uh, reach helis. Removing all these values, we are now looking at what is possible to receive in the four main detectors uh, F1, F2, D1 and D2. These couples are going into F1, F2 detectors, while the plus 45 are always in D2 detector and minus 45 are always in D1. At each execution, the four possible combinations are equally likely, and this solution is considered in the experiment as D1 teleporting. B polarization of uh, photon 1 is teleported into photon 3, changing its uh, polarization from plus 45 to plus 45. In the experiment, the teleport is demonstrated when both F1 and F2 click, while photon 3 is in the D2 plus 45. This statement cannot be verified since on this side, even one photon can click both F1 and F2. So threefold coincidence can be triggered by all four possibilities and uh, we don't distinguish states in F1, F2. So these uh, two couples of outcomes can't be discerned. We can't know if this uh, coincidence comes from this probability or this, because these two outcomes look the same even if one should be a teleport. In the experiment, we have no idea about what is clicking in F1 and uh, F2. Everything is deduced by photon tree showing one of the two polarization. It's from detection in D1 or D2 that are inferred states in F1, F2 and uh, teleport. But deduction is not demonstration. For some reason here we should have destruction and reconstruction of uh, polarization, even though it's just one of the cases with nothing special. If we expand the analysis of uh, case 4, we check the polarization of photon 1 and 2 as we do on photon 3. Adding here two polarizing beam splitters and four detectors, we both note that each photon can click in coincidence on many detectors and all polarization are still there, while D2 keeps clicking at plus 45. Another way to verify that teleport has nothing to do with the results is to detect photon 3 before Alice thanks to a shorter path. Adjusting for time delay, we still have the same threefold coincidences of the paper despite teleport of B state is now impossible. So we detect threefold coincidences with the photon 3 at plus 45, but it is not teleport. There is no evidence about photons changing polarization and lack of proof is not proof. Quantum teleportation should also be proved by comparison of uh, coincidences count in two detections. In spite of being the same experiment, each outcome is an independent execution. So the two set of coincidences are facts selected among all results, and experimental link these two facts to prove teleportation. Sadly, connect uh, two facts doesn't give that third fact, so this correlation too is arbitrary and can be evidence of truth. Teleporting in plus 45 should be demonstrated by this dip of coincidences when photon 3 is detected in minus 45, and these values refer to photon 3 detections. Here in minus 45, only a few times the three detectors click all together if we compare them to the rest of detections both in minus 45 and uh, plus 45. Also, this should be zero, but is not. 
at each execution, photon 3 is detected with a 50 50 chance, either in D1 or D2, and it's the reference. So, this decrease in coincidences is because of F1, F2 detections. Having photon 3 with the minus 45 polarization means that when the entangled photon 2 meet photon 1 at the beam splitter, they both have the same B polarization. The of coincidences can only happen here in the one cases, because only now photon 1 and 2 have the same polarization and can destructively interfere when they are out of phase, affecting detections in F1, F2 and the overall count of threefold coincidences. The two statements of this experiment are threefold coincidence with D2 is quantum teleportation, and lower coincidence in D1 proved teleportation. These coincidences have more undistinguishable causes, and the state for teleport is just one of deterministic uh, solutions. Agreement doesn't demonstrate that this uh, threefold coincidence is thanks uh, to the teleport of a polarization. Lower count on the one outcomes can't prove the presumed teleport with the two, since they are independent facts. Anyway, we saw there is a reason and is not related to teleport. In quantum mechanics, we usually have a priori meaning for experimental results. Experiments are carried to prove true these statements instead of testing them wrong. Here, they don't even check because it's a bell analyzer. It is claimed that polarization are destroyed and teleported, but no control is done, because we don't know why F1, F2 click, we only know photon 3. Everything is inferred with the initial bias, otherwise it should be noticed that this teleport makes no difference. Teleportation and uh, single photon are not necessary, since everything is inferred by results on photon 3. At no point ways 1 and 3 are correlated or can affect each other, and there is no cloning theorem to respect with the events misinterpreted because of the assumptions. All outcomes can be explained without discarding 68% of results and using uh, classical optics with the hidden variables.